Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Danny Bond's MTK Scotland gym. With me I've got Sam Maxwell. Sam, how you feeling? Good Andrew, yeah. A bit tired after that uh, I was sprint just about to say, uh, I came into the gym at the right time. You were doing your, what were they, 8 times 200 metres or 300? 10 times 200, yeah. Well, 30 second sprint, but knackered. You, Killed you, me. I didn't see anything, did you? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What about Sam trying to take number one Ray Walter spot in Danny Vaughan's cup? <laughs> Coming for the WO European champion? <laughs> He's not taking the spot, but... He's still number one, yeah. I'll give him that, definitely. Was that, is, he just, is he just offered you a fight? What you <laughs> 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 Well, again, the spin sale, we just talking about the spin sale. Was, was it tough? Hard, yeah. yeah. Um, and... It was perfect, like the, our camp's just going well, like it shows, like I know I was, I put everything into it and um, yeah, you could see, you could see I was knackered after it, but it's, it's all in the bank now and uh, feeling good. But again, it took me about 10 minutes to recover, but I'm uh, feeling good now. You should have said that, I wasn't going to say that, but you, know, you, you were on the floor for about 10 minutes when your eyes closed for You helped me out. I helped you out, <laughs> um, You were made a fight in the February there, it's been pushed back to the end of the March, is that... How do you feel about that? Is that interrupted your camp in some way? I've seen it as that a little bit, but um, to be honest, I, it's just four more weeks with Danny in, in here, so it's, it's worked out as a, as a blessing in disguise, really. Um, you know, I've, got, I've got extra time with Danny, so I'm looking at it as, as a positive and um, looking forward to my fight, and I'm going to peak. I peak. I was peaking at the a month ago, but I've had tapered down and I'm ready to peak at, at the right time again now. Yeah, again, this is obviously for the WBU pin, as uh, Tyler McKenna has just said. Um, the guy you're facing, have you seen much about him? Do you know what? Yeah, I've seen against? him. Seen him on YouTube, a few fights on YouTube. And uh, a lad that I know who came sparring on us. Uh, he, he fought him in his last fight or two fights ago, and um, you know, so I know a lot about him. I know what he's like. He's a good mover, got good power, good hand speed, and um, yeah, he's, he's boxed at a, a good level, a high level. So you know, it's a great challenge, and uh, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Is this your first ten rounder? First ten rounder, um, and. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And it's going to give me a chance to show show what I'm about and um, kind of to dig in and, and show my skills and, 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 I'm, and that's what I'm going to do. That's your first major title as a professional, that's right? It. So, and again, the WBO gives you a top 15 ranking. Is that, is that, does that sink in when you feel like if you win this title, you're going to be the top 15 in the world, possibly two, three fights away from getting that world title shot? All going well, that is. Is, exactly. is that something? It's a, it's a massive incentive. It's like if I just get past this, this obstacle in front of me, this opponent, eh, I could change my life. I could be boxing. I could be starting to put my name out there for, for the massive fights in, in the country and in the world. And so it's just about getting through this challenge. And, and it gives me just, it's crazy. It's like if I win this fight, and which I know I'm capable of winning, I can change my life and I can, I can go on to bigger and better things. Well, Tyrone touched on it there about a wee bit. You winning this title, does that make you the number one lightweight in that <laughs> you, one? You know what? You, that, just, just speak your mind. He's not here. He can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all I'm going to say is MTK Scotland has a new gym. So far, it's got no no titles here. I'll be the first one with a title. So you, yeah. you, so you, this is, you, you'll be the best. I'll let you say that. I'll, I'll let you. I, I'm Paddy. Yeah, you, you can say that. You can say what you want. But uh, yeah. Well, listen again. Jack Carroll was obviously ranked in WBO as well. We speak to gym mate uh, Tyrone. Tyrone, yeah. Spoke to about that. Both of MTK. Um, it's almost a. A natural fight for you if it all going well in the future, isn't it? Definitely, it all goes well. I keep winning um, and see how we get on in this challenge. I think he might be challenging Hooker, is it? I think, I, yeah. I think that's that looks like a fight that's happening. Um, so it could be a fight I could have down the line and uh, be massive and uh, you know one that I look forward to. That's the kind of fight I want to be in. Oh, well, massive British fight, exactly. massive British fight. Well, another British fight. I know, like uh, I was mentioned when I, we talked about super lightweights in Scotland as well. I would mention Josh Taylor. Something you faced before, you've spotted countless rounds with him as well. All going well with him, the World Boxing Super Series, two, three fights in the, down the line. All going well with you, two, three fights down the line. Again, that could be a, a possible fight in the future. You and Josh Taylor. Definitely, you know, games. If, if I want to, I see my goals as wanting to be the, the best in the world. Uh, and I think Josh Taylor's that at the moment. So, you know, that he's obviously in everyone's aim. He's the number one spot. That's who everyone's aiming for. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think he's I think he's just phenomenal. I think he's top of his game. And, um He'd probably go on to bigger and better things in three or four fights. He'd be fighting for mega money, you know, and legendary status in Scotland and the world. So, but it's definitely a fight. Definitely someone you have in the back of your mind. Like, he's the number one spot. That's who I'm aiming for you call in, him in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> no I chance. Nah. Guy, nah. Nah. He's a good guy, um, Josh. And uh, hopefully he'd get a few... He's asked, he asked me for sparring for when he sparred Hooker, and um, you know I wasn't ready for it, and yeah. I'd only just got back to camp. But I hopefully get a few rounds in sparring with him. Seen, seen him after Tyrone for Benson. I was talking to him. He said, "Oh, I should come down and spar. It'll be great sparring." Mm -hmm. So uh, looking look forward to that in the future, definitely. Go back to your fight with Josh at the Commonwealth Games. Um, 
how was it for you, like, getting in the ring with somebody? Like, you sparred him, were you going in there with, like, that feeling, like, oh, he's my mate? And then, how, how is that fighting somebody who makes a big tournament like that? Is that, is that a funny feeling? It's like a competitive rivalry. Like, yeah, he's, he's, he's your teammate on the squad, but then, uh, also, you're watch I'm watching him on the bags and seeing, oh, he's working hard, and then he might be watching me saying he's, and then when you're sparring each other, you're always, you're friendly, but you're trying to get the be better over them, and it was just like that in a fight. We need to go and go against each other to see who's the number one. Yeah. And um, yes, it was just, there was no, um, it wasn't hard to just be up for the fight. It was like, as soon as it, the bell rang, we were ready to um, to put on the show and get the win. And then after it shook hands, like, and um, so all the best. Close fight, close enough, yeah. He, he, he boxed phenomenal that tournament. Like, he was he boxed out of his skin, yeah. and I just fell short. But, um, yeah, just still medal, great. Yeah, still medal, still got a medal, and it's still great to be in Glasgow Commonwealth Games. But, um, yeah, and shows I'm, he's where he got to a few fights after that. He's world champion now, and I, I match him for, for a lot of the fights, yeah. so it shows where I can go, I think. Definitely. Well, back to yourself in March 20th. 20, 23rd. 23rd is your fight. What can the, the fans expect from you in the arena and obviously watching on the BT? Yeah, I think they're going to see a, a, a improved um, Sam Maxwell again. Uh, you know, I've had a great camp. I've had about eight, nine weeks for this fight and you know, put everything in. And I'm looking forward to putting on a show for everyone and uh, hopefully some eye-catching shots go in and see if I can get them out of there. But I'm ready to put on a boxing class as well. Grab that title. That's it, grab that title and the new. And the new. And, and the new. new. Well, get back on that. Uh, that's the dreaded machine there. That's that, the killer there. That's the killer there. You going, are you going back on it? Oh, no, not for, not for a while, not for a week. <laughs> right, Sam, again, appreciate this 5 TV and uh, good luck for the 23rd. Cheers, Andrew, nice one.